Hey Fixer family, it's Charmin, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this custom doormat using just a couple of items. Welcome to Fixin' 2! Here's what we're going to need for this project. I have printed out a couple of stencils using my Oracle 813, and I'm going to be also using one of these courier I cannot pronounce that but it's c-o-i-r doormats size 18 by 30 I picked this up at Home Depot for like 9.98 or something like that also we're going to be using this a can of black flex seal this was 12.99 also at Home Depot now guys I did take and use contact paper as my transfer sheet because I was out of my regular transfer sheet and uh, yeah that was not a good idea at all it was sticking so bad and so basically I had to go ahead and peel off my stencil and then just kind of arrange it by hand once I got it on here of course it wasn't sticking very well and so I decided to take my hair dryer and use this to help me to create a kind of like a heat up the the adhesive on the bottom so that it would stick to the surface so I put it on high heat but I very carefully just put it on as soon as it started to kind of wrinkle up a little bit I took my hand and began to press it in and guys this worked perfectly it um, caused it to stay um, on to the the surface of this mat and it really it didn't shrink it up now if you left it too long it would shrink up but it didn't if you just use it in short burst as you see me doing here and guys it worked great so once I got everything um, set onto the mat like I wanted it to, it was now time to cover up all of the areas that we did not want the Flex Seal spray to go. So any little area that you do not want the spray to go, you can easily just cover it up with, I used painter's tape, I also used some paper from the backing off of the stencil here, just whatever you have to cover it up so that you can easily spray um, your, your piece. Now guys, the neat thing about, yes, this is a little expensive, like I said, $12.99 for this can of Flex Seal, but it's going to do several mats. And I know that IKEA also sells these types of mats, blank mats, for $4.99. So yes, I will be doing some more of these. <laughs> So once you've gotten it all covered, you're gonna to have to use something that is sturdy flat to put this on and transport it outside because if you don't, it will buckle up and cause problems. So now that we've gotten it outside, we are ready to go ahead and spray our mat. Now you definitely wanna make sure that you shake up this Flex Seal really, really well. Um, I did a couple of test spots just to make sure that I had a good coverage on it. And um, once I got it set, guys, I started spray painting, or I should say, you know, painting it. And um, I went in short burst using my little um, Rust-Oleum little handle that'll pop on the top of any spray can. And you just short burst it over your areas. And then of course you'll see that I'm gonna go back over it with a second coat, even while it's still wet. So this was so fun. <laughs> Now comes the super satisfying part. <laughs> You'll see that I did put on some gloves because I let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes so it was still a little tacky and just peeling all of that right up and it came up so easily and then I just went in and got um, used my little dental tool that I use with a vinyl and just picked up those pieces that were inside each of the letters and of course they like I said they were still a little tacky still a little wet so I had to make sure that each one I took that I wiped off really well so that we didn't have any of the um, the flex seal sticking to my tool so um, it definitely everything came up super easy. And there 
it is guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this awesome project so in love with this project and so excited that I can easily make custom doormats for different seasons and holidays and I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. And guys, I also wanted to remind you, it's been a little while since I talked about this, but September the 1st, I am going to be launching my new website. So definitely mark your calendars and I will be posting it in my community tab as well as probably right here on Instagram, probably everywhere, so that you guys can have the link to jump on over and check out my new website. I'm so excited about it and it is gonna be a place where you guys can purchase maybe some stencils, some decals, and products that I will have out there for you guys. So I'm excited about it. Can't wait to bring it to you. And if this is the first time that you are joining my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Consider sticking around and becoming a part of the Fixer family by hitting that subscribe button over here <laughs> and the notification bell so that you're notified each time I upload new videos. I upload every Sunday and would hate for you guys to miss a single one. And if no one has told you today, you are absolutely amazing. And always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.